गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स सो वी आर एट जुबली कॉलेज स्टेट पार्क एंड टूडे वी विल बी मेकिंग मटन बिरयानी इन दिस डच ओवन एंड द प्रिपरेशन गोज हियर यू कैन सी द वॉटर इज बॉइलिंग इन साइड राइट नाउ एंड आई कीप अपडेटिंग यू वन दिस शेफ इज बैक दिस इज द राइस एंड द शेफ इज चेकिंग हाउ इट इज हाय शेफ हाउ आर यू Good, good. Okay. So, chef, and this is the marinated mutton biryani. Mutton. And the rice is boiling, and uh, we will see the result in few hours. Just take a minute. Give you some background, friends. Uh, chef, uh, can you just tell how long this takes to cook everything? Sixty to seventy-five minutes. Sixty to seventy-five minutes, and you can see. This much is the marinated mutton biryani, and there are one, two, three, four, and I am the holder. The five guys. It takes seventy-five minutes to prepare, but just five minutes to finish it. And now you can see how the rice is being uh, put on the mutton. This is a very nice procedure, guys. You can see this is being served put in Dutch oven. You can see you have never seen this before. This is an authentic type of cuisine. needs lot of preparation but the taste comes very good because i have already tasted this one yeah the grains you can see the grain if i would have been uh, if i would have a ruler this could have been easily 1 inch 1 inch to you know 0.75 inch long grain rice and you can see my competitor arun is also making another channel and I, i'll just ask about chicken also how they are doing mutton is fine and chicken is also fine chef do you want to say anything about your uh, chicken thing what is this we have just uh, cooking the drumsticks uh, outdoors okay and uh, these are all marinated all right so it's really hard to clean no. so we just put this uh, yeah that's a good idea as you can see the jubli street park is full of people full of campers but they are not enjoying they are all looking at our side only what's going on can you just see actually yeah. wait two minutes there <laughs> and see the chef is going somewhere i'll just follow him i just want to see he doesn't puts any poison in it so i'll just see arun arun sir and here i don't know what's going on chef if you can say something you are just draining the water okay the water is being drained so that the we can enjoy half cooked uh, rice as of now so that we can enjoy each and every pieces of rice you can see the water is getting drained it's so hot steam steam is coming out and now this rice would go over the mutton Yeah, stay, stay tuned for oh, wait, the wait, next wait, process. Wait, wait. Okay, the chef is saying something. Yeah, uh, important thing is important. going. Important. Okay. I want to put the important things now. Okay. Without that, there is no biryani. Huh? There is no biryani. There is no biryani. Okay. This is ghee. This is the ghee. This is clarified butter. Biryani without ghee is nothing. Is nothing. All right. You can see the clarified butter, the ghee is yellowish color. That means it is homemade. Normally, you know, from the store. Hmm? Yeah. This is saffron, guys. One of the expensive spices. and see how nicely he put it in the spiral form and it looks so amazing it's not cooked but do you think we can eat right now now see the procedure the lid is on and i think uh, this dutch oven will go on that fire don't you think is it like chef the coal will go under the dutch oven oh, okay the coal will undergo the dutch oven see the process now 
I thought the other way, but all the coals will go under the Dutch oven. I don't know how the, I have to learn heat mass transfer again. One by one, he's putting the coal. Can you count nine? We need nine. We have three, six, seven, eight. See, there, there was always debate of eight and nine, but since Pluto has been added, so we are putting nine now. Now again, so you can see the Dutch oven is kept above the coal. Heat. It's a measured see, heat. I think for 350 degree Fahrenheit oven, or 400 like something like that, you need double the number of coals to this diameter. Like it's 12, right? Okay. You need 24, but you should not put all 24 at the bottom. You should keep, put more on the top. On the top because heat raises up, right? So you should put more heat on the top. So you put 12 plus 3 on top, 12 minus 3 at the bottom. There's a math to it. Yeah, so I. So we are not just cooking here. Yeah. We are doing math. So, guys, please <laughs> rewind. Stay home. <laughs> yeah, guys, please rewind the video and keep watching the math. I cannot explain you, or maybe I'll put the math equation on the link below. You can see it was 12 inch diameter Dutch oven and it required 12 minus 3 on top. 12 minus 3 12 plus, 12 plus 3 on top guys today is april 20th but there is some magic number you saw the 12 inch uh, huh? dutch oven and you can see there are 12 chicken drumsticks so 12 is the magic number for today something is going on i think george has some mathematics but he's not saying because i think he is into some uh, integration and calculus no, no, I'm not exactly. <laughs> the end of the day, it's worked out nobody can. Alright, what was the preparation? This is too hot now. Then what? I'm going to put up some heating. Alright, turn it upside down. You see here, the oil is being spilled on that one. Just what chef is doing after 10 minutes, he is going to do this thing. I'm going to make this 180. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Make sure we get the same amount of heat. Yeah, same amount of heat, and this has this is being rotated, and this is the tool. This is this is something unique tool of this Dutch oven. You can see, and. Uh, so it is being rotated for uh, uniform heat transfer. Yeah, 180 degree. He just rotated the bottom part and the lid. And this has to be done uh, after every interval, some kind of thing. 10 minutes. So after every 10 minutes, this will be rotated 180 degree for proper uniform heat. And see how beautiful George has made this chicken. Now it looks like turkey. <laughs> see, Najar na lage, he dhag diya usko. <laughs> He closed like it. Too hot. It's it's oh, okay. Close it, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. As you can see, now the 10 minute interval is over, and uh, our chef is uh, rotating 180 degree. He actually already rotated the bottom part, and the lead part, you can see how it has been rotated almost 180 degree. Yeah, it has to be rotated in this way. Counterclockwise or clockwise? Yeah. Oh yeah, that is a good question. Yeah, guys, please guess whether he rotated counterclockwise or clockwise. For milestone, we all just smelled the biryani. So, I think the 12 plus 3, 12 minus 3 is working very nicely. We'll keep you updated. Guys, you can see our main dish, which is the biryani is still cooking because it will take another uh, half an hour maybe. But you can see this beautiful chicken. They are all cooked and ready to eat. And uh, I don't want to show our faces. Okay, but still, you know, our main chef, shoe chef, you know, shoe chef, yeah, wants to make make sure that it's cooked. It's like one more side. Okay. 
see this uh, we tried rotating this also it's not an easy job but the cook makes it looks very easy guys try to rotate this one you know and then you need to put one top of it yeah you get the end drop this little more little more see this side so i think you know the plan is to again cook another 5 minutes so that it will be well cooked yeah and then we can enjoy with the uh, with onion with the uh, lemon sprinkled yeah, on it almost look at 5 minutes that cut the onion we can cut it here right now yeah and don't you guys have mouth watering right now by hearing lemon with the uh, onion and one more thing is uh, sachi graciously bought some lemons so we will sprinkle some lemons on the chicken and yeah that was that was the punishment given to me by coming late you know so guys never come late otherwise you have to visit Again near the biryani, and you can see what's going on. So I will just do a close up. So these are the cold chuck. See, he is putting in a pattern of like a round shape, very nicely, so that you know the heat goes all the way to the circumference. Okay, it won't get direct heat. That is the reason putting around the circumference. And now on the board biryani. Guys, it's amazing to see. Like you know, this is first time actually I am recording such event. Can you just see with these many coal, the biryani can burn if it if it goes beneath it. So it's just because of those latent heat, the biryani is getting cooked. We'll show you the result in another 15 minutes. Thank you. He's also making some adjustment for the coal on the above. The light tuning heat, fine tuning the heat again. So this is what you know. It's not an easy job for first timer. It needs lot of uh, care about the heat for proper cooking of the biryani. Uh, firewood, camping firewood, very nice. Biryani is getting. No, I had. I had. Our shoe chef is predicting another 15 minutes. It will be done, and you can see beautiful colors coming out of this firewood. You can see what things are going on right now. Again, the circumference is big, diameter is getting bigger, so that the mutton does not get overcooked or burned. And also the ashes. Ashes are poor conductor. Ashes are poor conductor, guys. We learned so many things: <laughs> mathematics, equator, hemisphere, physics. physics. Yeah. More yeah. <laughs> See why you guys are referring to Byju's and you know, other education channels. <laughs> Refer here only. You may crack IITZ. After the class, you will have something. To yeah, <laughs> guys, I will show you the sky also. The stars are looking so nice, and you can see this moon. Moon is having mouth watering, and you can see it will come in the rain. <laughs> <laughs> We, we are finished with uh, the chicken the tradition says 2 3 should be left over but we don't know who is the culprit now is again some heat distribution going on see sir what is the measure that it cooked properly so we got the answer viewers so it's very small That's why, but you know, like, uh, is there any measure that uh, all that uh, coal should die down or something like that? Oh, we go back there. So, guys, so the biryani two measure is there should not be any water and no burnt thing. So that's the only two measure. But the last measure is how tasty it is. अभी क्या बोल रहा लोगा? देखो कैसे? एक बार चेक कर. हैदराबादी बिरयानी ready होना को. ऐसे बैगन में मिला के कैसे नहीं बना रहे अभी देखो अभी हम लोग देखेंगे हैदराबाद भी बिरयानी कैसा बन रहा है ये देखो कैसे उठा रहे ये देखो बाप रे अरे बाप रे एकदम सैफ्रॉन केसर तो एकदम ऐसे ही मिल गया भाई मौत नाच रही बाबा इधर तो अरे बाप रे बाप नीचे वाली देखो मटन कैसे ऊपर आ रही एकदम मस्त
Now our sous chef wants this mutton cooked or not. Yeah, to check whether it has been cooked and the guinea pig is George. George will tell if it is pita or it is good. <laughs> what a beautiful smell. Yeah. Oh, this pita. Mm. Okay, so the first feedback is smell is very good. But let's see his reaction. It's very hot. And the first bite went into George's mouth. It's hot, it seems. Cooked. Huh? Cooked. Okay, so at least we knew that it's cooked, but uh, let's wait for wow. his feedback. Okay, the, the first word was wow. <laughs> so I think. Really good. Really good. Really good. Guys, so I think the camping is successful now. We can go home now. It's all cooked. Everything is fine. Yeah, yeah cooked well. Tastes good. Amazing. So, what is the prominent thing that is coming out? What is the prominent taste ingredient? That you felt. There are multiple flavors. Like you know, we heard about the ghee, then saffron. Yeah. So what was that? I could be able to taste the ghee, I could be able to taste the saffron, I could be able to taste the aroma of the mutton. <laughs> okay. So I think it's a very good feedback to Mr. Shoe Chef. And this is something unique which we never see. This is the Dutch pot. Dutch <laughs> oven. And now Enough. Arun Enough. Arun cannot control it. So I think you know it's let's time. Yeah. All right. So our shoe chef said, let's attack. So guys, we will show you the plates also once it is getting served. And uh, but in the meantime, also I just want to show you like, how he's serving now. What is the next process? You guys bring plates. I will and it's looking so lovely you can see the color it's so yes see the smoke is going to arun's face and he's saying it's awesome man okay so the who is bringing the first plate i think george i think you can go ahead and here you can see man i think you know it's not spicy it's perfect see there is a process of serving also so that the meat and the rice comes in a proper proportion. First he is doing it from the bottom and then some rice. I think he was still waiting that you know you chef wants to put some more but chef just ignored him. <laughs> now see this is the best part. Yeah, see now Amit is getting served. So, is well prepared. He came yeah, with onions. With and onion. George was smart. So I think Arun, it's now your turn. No, no, I'll let Arun take. Yeah. Okay. So see, I will. I am going to take. See, after so much of hard work, I am going to take. So he he got it from the bottom, the main meat, and now I will get the rice. I think this is enough, uh, chef. Thank you. Now Arun will get served. Man, it's so hot. Just with those couple of, not couple, sorry, at least uh, 12 plus 3 and 12 minus 3 coal. It's so much well cooked. The feedback we got from, you can see the smoke. Can you see the smoke coming out of his plate? That's so great. Now Arun is getting served. He's also not prepared with the onion. I think he's making room for more biryani. See, he's a smart guy. Warren always eat raw biryani. Oh, yeah. So I think now I don't know who will serve hey, the chef. Hey, you wanna check the bottom? Yep. Yeah. Sure. See. So I think it's not hot at all. Yeah. The oh, chef wow. is showing us the bottom. See. Not a single. Yeah. See, man. Such. A... Every layer is properly cooked, looking so good. It's like an art, man. It's an art. Indeed an art. Every it's grain is separated. Exactly. Every grain is individual. <laughs> Man, it is not just we are like, you know, saying for, you know, like uh, it's looking good, but George has tasted it and let us try how it tastes. And now the chef is taking for himself. He is a humble guy, man. No one is serving him. Okay. All right. Yeah, so we will tell you the feedback once we eat everything. Bless your, bless your heart. 
<laughs> All right, yes. You know, like, how was the first bite for you? Yeah, awesome. awesome, man. I don't know whether Amit has started. Yeah, Amit has started. Amit, your feedback about this mutton biryani? Heavenly. Heavenly. See the word. Wow. Awesome. Heavenly. I have not tasted yet. I don't know whether chef has tasted himself. Uh, Sam. Not yet. So I will, you know, I will ask. Uh, yeah. I will tell you, you guys later on. Sam, how? How? Yeah. So you can see the Sam's plate. Sam, how? Since you are the critic of yourself, just tell it. How? Out of ten, how you'll read this? See, he is such a humble guy. Everyone liked heavenly word came, and still he is rating himself eight. Okay, just viewers wants to know, like you know, how you learned this one, from where you learned this technique? Because you know, with just couple of you know coal, the meat which is you know like very tough to cook. So how come you know? <coughs> Guys, if it has legs, it is called Cam Dutch Oven. Yeah. So it is just experiment. Guys, it is just an experiment that came out so beautiful, and literally, I also ate the piece, uh, the mutton piece. Man, amazing! Here is my plate. It is all cooked perfect. The same taste, you know, like uh, we ate the chicken also. and this is the same thing we are enjoying both the cuisines i think this is the perfect and one of our friends said heaven see the moon is also watching thank you okay oh, right. to move it otherwise that part it will have a lot of uh huh this is for the other oh jal jayega yeah 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 so man see he's he's going for second round now he took last but he ate first <laughs> yeah. yeah it's lifo wanted to know like you know how was the biryani this is my plate but the actual feedback is this one guys can you see the bottom of the dutch plate sorry dutch pot everything is left everything is finished everything is finished thank you sam thank you literally You're welcome guys yeah it was I think you know, yeah. Every one, everyone is feeling like you know. Just each each rise is saying thank you, you know. <laughs> so true. Yep.